everyone, this is Abdul from Pythonist. I hope you are well. From this video, we're going to learn how to build and deploy a Flask application using Docker. So let's get started. To understand this process, we will go through different steps. First, we will create a very basic Flask application. Then we will define the requirements into the requirements.txt file. Then we will create the Docker file and build the container. Finally, we will utilize that particular Docker container to run our Flask application on our local system. So let's get started. Before starting this video, you must have to make sure that Docker is installed on your system. Now just open your code editor. You can use the editor of your choice. As you can see here, I have opened my project directory inside VL Studio Code. So first, we will create a file named app.py inside the project directory. Then inside this file, first of all, we will import the required packages like Flask to create the Flask application, render template to render our HTML templates, abort to request with an HTTP error code only, URL for to create and prevent the overhead having to change the URLs, JSON to read string data, and JSONify to serialize data into JSON format. Great. Then we have created an instance of the Flask application and saved it in the app variable. It actually takes two arguments. The first one is the name of the current module, which we passed as dunder name. And the second argument is optional, which is the templates folder. We mention the current directory as the templates folder. Now we will open the JSON file with the read permission and read the data into the data variable. Great. Next, we have defined a route with the index function. And inside this function, we are simply rendering a template by using render underscore template method. And we are passing the JSON data we just read about and saved into the data variable to that particular template. Next, we have defined the main function, which is the main driver function and the run method of the Flask class runs the application on the local development server with your mentioned host. Great. Now, let me create the JSON file and put some data inside that. For each object, we have the name, age, and city. Now, to create the requirements file within the current activated virtual environment, we simply have to run the command as pip freeze credit and sign requirements.txt. It will pull down all of the requirements we have been utilizing that particular project or installed in that particular environment and put them inside the requirements.txt file. Great, our application is ready to deploy. Now, let's start the process of containerization. So, first of all, Inside the root directory, create another file named docker file. You must have to type the name correctly. There's no extension for the docker file and it's case sensitive. The docker file contains the Ubuntu instance and also we utilize the run command to update all of the dependencies and install the python pip. Then we have defined the working directories as slash app and copy all the files from the host machine to the Docker server. After that, we have installed all of the dependencies mentioned in the requirements.txt file. And finally, we have defined the command to run our Flask application. Great. Just save that file and open the terminal. Inside terminal, you simply have to log on to your project's directory. Now, we first have to build the image by utilizing the Docker file. But before running this command, you must have to make sure that Docker is running on your system. Then type the command as docker build minus t my underscore flask and dot. Here, my underscore flask is the tag for that particular image. And dot represents the working directory of this project, which is actually the path to the Docker file. Great. You can see our image has been built. Now we have a spin up the Docker container to run this Docker image. We just created named as my underscore flask. 
To do so, just type the command as docker run minus p to map the port of our local system to the container's port, 5000 to 5000. And then type the name of the image, which is my underscore flask. Great, we have launched the container successfully. To take a look at the running containers, just type the command as docker ps minus a. There you go. You can see it is here. To open up your application, just open the browser and log on to 0.0.0.0 because this is the host we have mentioned in our Flask application. Then you have to bind the port with that, colon 5000. There you go. You can see our Flask application is up and running. Great. We learned how to create a basic Flask application and how to deploy that using Docker. If you like the content of this video, thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you will never miss any fantastic video in the future. Because we are going to create more content about Docker with the Python technologies like Flask and Django in our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.